Good morning, everyone, or good afternoon or good evening, depending on where you're located. Thank you for joining us for the Autism Speaks House to Home webinar. My name is Jody Tack. I am part of the Hero X Challenge Success Team, and I will be taking you through this presentation today. Also with me today are several colleagues from Autism Speaks who are focused on issues of housing and community living, family services, and their grant programs. We're going to wait just a couple minutes before starting, just in case some of the people who registered for the webinar are running a bit late. While we're waiting, I want to let you know that you can, can submit questions at any time during this presentation. If you look at your GoToWebinar panel, you'll see an area labeled Questions. You can just go there, type in your question, and hit Send. You can enter questions at any point during this presentation, and we will leave time at the end to answer any questions we receive. We are also recording this webinar, so if you miss anything as we're going through the presentation, you will be able to go to the challenge page and watch a video of it at your convenience. Now, let's just wait another minute or so and give the rest of our participants a chance to join the group. We'll get started in just a moment. So if everybody can just uh, sit through a moment of silence, we'll be right back. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I think everyone is here and hopefully anybody who's arriving a little bit late can get caught up or uh, check out the session and that, as it's recorded afterwards. So once again, welcome to the Autism Speaks House to Home Prize webinar. My name is Jody Tack. I'm a member of the Challenge Success Team here at Hero X. Also with me today are several colleagues from Autism Speaks who are focused on issues of housing and community living, family services, and their grant programs. Today we're going to walk you through an overview of the competition, some of the guidelines for competitors, and instructions on how to complete your submissions. We are recording this webinar and we will be posting it to the challenge page on HeroX.com. So if you miss anything or you just want to go back and review the presentation later, you will be able to do so at your convenience. If you have any questions as we go through the presentation, you can submit them using the questions pane on your GoToWebinar panel on your screen. Just type your question into that window and click send. We'll leave time at the end of the presentation to answer any questions re we receive. So the Autism Speaks House to Home Prize was created to inspire belief-busting breakthroughs in housing and residential supports for adults with autism. Autism Speaks is offering $150,000 in prizes for the best breakthrough ideas. Studies have shown that approximately 81% of adults with autism are currently living with their parents. 500,000 young individuals with autism will be entering adulthood over the next 10 years, and government statistics indicate that autism spectrum disorder diagnoses are increasing anywhere from 10% to 17% every year. So what these statistics show is that we have a community of individuals with autism whose needs aren't being fully met, 
and this community is going to grow larger with each passing year. So the next great breakthrough in housing solutions for adults with autism is needed right now. The term housing solutions encompasses so much more than just a physical place to live. A true housing solution is inseparable from the need for assistance in several important aspects of life. Housing and support services that meet the needs of each individual with autism can be powerful enablers of employability, integration with the lo local community, and the ability to carry out productive daily activities. This is the foundation for an individual's well-being, safety, fulfillment, and means to thrive. Many people with autism need some level of support to live as independently as possible. Depending on the individual, the range of supports needed can include help with daily living activities and self-help skills, transportation and access to the community, employment and leisure opportunities, managing finances, personal safety, and accessing medical care. In 2013, Autism Speaks conducted a survey of caregivers for individuals with autism. When asked how much support was needed for those in their care, 35% of caregivers reported that they needed around-the-clock support 24 hours a day, seven days a week. 42% of caregivers reported that they needed at least some level of support every day, and 22% reported that they needed some level of support every week. You'll see that only 1% of those surveys stated that they did not need any support. So again, the next great breakthrough in housing supports for adults with autism is needed right now. The level of support and type of support needed will vary greatly from person to person and will especially differ between those who need daily support and those who need weekly support. As a result, Autism Speaks is offering three prizes for three separate solutions to the House to Home prize. The first of these three prizes will be awarded to the best home and residential support solution for individuals who require around-the-clock support 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The second prize will be awarded to the best home and residential support solution for individuals who require daily support. That's some level of support every day, but not around the clock. And the third prize will be awarded to the best home and residential support solution for individuals who require weekly support. That means some level of support is needed a few times a week, but not every day. The best solution in each of these categories will receive a $50,000 prize. So what are these breakthrough ideas that could win one or more of these prizes? Well, that's what we need you to tell us. We're looking for belief-busting ideas that are resourceful, inspiring, simple, collaborative, and transformative. The breakthrough must include the supports necessary to safely live outside of the family home, and it could come in the form of technology, architecture design, strategic partnerships, community services, new business models, or any combination of these or countless other ideas. It could be something that no one has ever thought of before, or it could be an everyday something that to you may seem so obvious, but if it hasn't been implemented yet, then perhaps it isn't so obvious and you should submit the idea for the prize. The prize includes all forms of housing and supports that could meet at least some of the requirements for individuals with autism. We understand that the types of supports needed will vary from person to person, so it's possible that no single solution will address every need for every individual with autism. That being said, however, we encourage you to collaborate with others to create a submission that addresses more than just one type of support. If your solution focuses on one type of support but is complementary to another area, seek out others who are working in that area and ask them to collaborate with you on your entry. The prize will be judged on the best overall solutions submitted. 
Submissions will be judged on four criteria. First, does the idea submitted solve one or more pieces of the need for housing and services for adults with autism? Second, does the solution provide for an excellent quality of life for the individual? Third, is there an element of learning provided from the submission? Does it bring new ideas and new thinking to light? And fourth, is the solution actually implementable in the real world? Each of these four criteria has been weighted and the submissions will be graded accordingly. Out of a total possible maximum of 100 points, the first criteria of solving a piece of the problem will be assigned up to a maximum of 40 points. The quality of life criteria can also accumulate up to 40 points. The learning criteria will be scored up to a maximum of 10 points, and the implementable criteria can also receive a maximum of 10 points. The highest scored submission, that's total points on the submission in each category, will be awarded the prize for that category. In order to submit an entry for the Autism Speaks House to Home prize, you must register as a user on HeroX.com and register as a competitor for this specific challenge on the HeroX website. You must complete the submission form for this challenge and upload your submission document as part of the submission form on the HeroX website. We'll walk you through how to do this in just a moment. One question I know a lot of you had was, can I submit an entry in more than one category? So for example, can you submit an entry for the 24 seven support category and the weekly category? The answer is yes. You may submit an entry in one of the categories, two of the categories, or all three of the categories. There are just two things we want you to keep in mind. First, we believe that the needs of individuals with autism in the three different prize categories are quite diverse. So we don't think that the same solution would work in all three categories. So if you are submitting an entry for multiple categories, we recommend that it not be the same idea for those multiple categories. If, however, you feel really strongly that your idea does apply to multiple categories, then we welcome you to submit it for consideration. Secondly, please note that if you do submit an entry for multiple categories, you will need to create and upload a separate complete submission document for each category. And again, we'll walk, we'll walk you through how to do this in just a moment. Another point to remember with your submission document is that it cannot exceed 10 pages of text. Please keep in mind that 10 pages is the maximum. It does not have to be 10 pages long. If you can explain your idea in two paragraphs and the idea is groundbreaking, compelling, thoroughly explained, and it meets all of the criteria, then you absolutely could win the prize on a two paragraph submission. So don't feel like you need to add filler to make it a 10 page submission document. Again, the, the 10 pages is the maximum number of pages. And as it states here in the last bullet point, the judges will assess the quality and viability of each entry based on three things. Is it clear? Is it concise? And is it compelling? Now, these are just some of the key requirements for creating your submission. Be sure to read through the full overview at HeroX.com slash House to Home Prize for the complete rules and guidelines. Now we're going to walk you through how to submit your entry on the HeroX website. Step one is you want to go to the House to Home Prize Challenge page, which is located at HeroX.com slash House to Home Prize. At the top of the page, you'll see a summary of the challenge details and the challenge timeline. If you scroll down just below that top summary pane, on the right hand side, you'll see a button that says start here. Click that. If you're not already registered as a HeroX user, or if you are registered, but you're not logged into your account at that time, 
you will be prompted to register as a user or sign into your account. So just follow the steps to register or to log in if you are already a registered user. Once you're signed in, you will be presented with the competitor agreement for the Autism Speaks House to Home prize. Please read through this agreement carefully. If you submit an entry to the challenge, you will be bound by the terms of this agreement. At the bottom of that screen, you will see two buttons, decline and accept. If you agree to the terms of the agreement, click accept. If you do not click accept, you will not be able to proceed with creating your submission. After you click accept, you will be presented with your personal information. This is the information that you entered when you created your Hero X profile. Make any updates to the information if necessary. It just gives you the opportunity to make changes if you need to. And when you're finished, just click register. When you've completed your registration, you will be taken back to the main challenge page. And you will see that where the Start Here button used to be, there are now two new buttons, Submit Entry and Create a Team. If you're ready to start filling out your submission form, click Submit Entry. If you'll be collaborating with others on your submission, click Create a Team to create your team, invite others to join your team, and to fill out your submission form as a team. Note that all team members must still register as individual users on the HeroX website before they can be added to the team. It's also worth pointing out here that just beneath the Submit Entry button, you'll see a link that says Legal Agreement. If you click on that link, you will be able to review the competitor agreement that you just accepted in Step 2 above. Um, if you, so if you ever want to reread that agreement before completing your final entry, that link will allow you to do that. The next slide shows you what the submission form will look like. There are a number of fields that you will be asked to fill out. Any required field is marked with an asterisk. If you want to start filling out your form and then come back and finish it at another time, you can do that. If you scroll down to the bottom of the submission form screen, you will see a button that says Save Entry. This will save your entry as a draft, and you can return to edit it at any time. It's important to note, though, clicking Save Entry does not submit your entry for judging. It simply saves it so that you can continue to work on it at a later date. When you're ready to submit your entry for final judging, there's one more step you'll have to take, and we will show you that in just a moment. But continuing on with the submission form right now, as mentioned earlier, you will need to fill out the forms in the, in the form and upload your submission document. You will see that there is a section on the submission form where you will upload your document, or documents if you're submitting an entry for more than one category. So this section is at the bottom of the submission form. It's labeled Submission Document. And you will see that there are three separate upload buttons for the three separate categories. So be sure to upload your document to the correct category that your solution addresses. So for example, if you are submitting a solution for the 24-7 category, you would click, you, you click the first Choose File button beneath the heading that says Submission 24-7 Support Category. If you are submitting a solution for the weekly category, you would click the third Choose File button beneath the heading that says Submission Weekly Support Category. Again, you can upload a submission for more than one category, but you must have a separate complete submission document for each category that you enter. So be sure to upload the correct submission document under the correct category. After you click Save Entry, click the Save Entry button at the bottom of the submission form, you'll notice that the button on the main challenge page changes again. Now when you return to the challenge page, you'll see that the button there is now labeled with the title of your submission. So anytime you want to continue work on your saved submission, simply return to the main challenge page at herox.com slash house to home prize and click the button with the title of your submission on it. 
When you click that button to return to your submission, you will see a preview of the fields that you've already filled out. And at the top of the page, there are two buttons, Edit and Submit Final Entry. If you want to edit your submission, simply click the Edit button, make your changes, and click Save Entry when you're finished. You can do this as many times as you want. Again, when you click Save Entry, your submission is simply saved as a draft. It is not submitted for judging. When you're ready to submit your entry for final judging, click the Submit Final Entry button. Remember, your submission cannot be reviewed by the judges until you click this button. So you must click the Submit Final Entry button before the submission deadline in order to have your entry considered for a prize. Now here's a look at the schedule for the Autism Speaks House to Home prize. The challenge launched three weeks ago on October 15th. This next date right here in the middle is the one that you're going to want to pay special attention to. This is the submission deadline, March 1st, 2016. Now I know that seems like a long way away, but it will be here before you know it. All submissions must be received through the HeroX platform no later than 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on March 1st. Late submissions will not be accepted. So we strongly recommend that you do not wait until the deadline to submit your entries. HeroX and Autism Speaks cannot be held responsible for any technical difficulties, power outages, natural disasters, or any other obstacle that may prevent you from submitting your entry on time. So please try to submit your entry well before the deadline to make sure you get your chance at the prize. Submissions will be reviewed beginning on March 2nd, and the winners will be announced on April 19th, 2016. So as stated at the beginning of the presentation, we want to take the remaining time to answer any questions you may have. And I do see a few have come in, so let me take a look here. Uh, Chris Bravo asks, oh, Chris Bravo says, good morning. Good morning to you, Chris. Um, for clar the question is, for clarification, would you like the supporting diagrams and tables in line in the text or included after the text but still in the same PDF? Do the diagrams and tables count as text if they are in line? Excellent question. Um, our thought was that the, uh, the 10 pages would be limited to just the text. Other supporting diagrams and tables uh, can be added as appendixes at the end of the document. Um, and then those, those supporting diagrams and tables do not count toward the 10 pages of text maximum requirement. If you want to include them in part of the document, uh, in line, as the document is going on, uh, I don't think that we're opposed to that. Um, I'm sure we can probably figure out what, whether or not those, those diagrams and tables push the text over 10 pages. Um, so if you think that your submission works better with it being presented in, in sequence, I think that's fine. Uh, again, just be mindful that the judges will be looking at clarity and conciseness of your submission. So just be mindful of your page count and uh, present it the way that you think is best. And Chris has one other question, which is, can you replace a previously uploaded document before submitting? Absolutely. You can make any changes. As long as you have not clicked that submit final entry button, you can continue to make changes, including replacing the documents that you have previously uploaded. And you're welcome. <laughs> Chris says thank you. You're very welcome. And those are actually the only questions that I see submitted so far. Uh, we'll give another minute to see if anybody else has any other questions. And while we do that, I will just uh, go through a couple more slides to show you that there are other ways to submit questions. Um, so if you missed your opportunity to ask your questions during the webinar today, don't worry. We have lots of ways that you can ask us questions. 
Um, you can post questions in the comments section of the House to Home Prize Challenge page, and a moderator will respond to you there. So just go to that main challenge page, herox.com slash house to home prize. And beneath that top summary pane, you'll see a menu that has one of the one of the options on the menu is comments. Just click on comments, that brings you to the comments section. And you can post a question there and we'll reply to you just as soon as we can. And another way that you can reach us is to use the contact challenge creators link located on the right hand side of the main challenge page beneath the Autism Speaks logo. Just click that link with the little email icon and you will be able to send a private message to the moderators. And I see we have a couple more questions that have come in. Uh, Catherine Williams is asking, can you elaborate on what is useful to include in the submission document? i.e. graphs, charts, etc. So the, you know, the, the submission document is your canvas for your submission. Um, we want you to get your ideas put ac across as cleanly and concisely and clearly as possible. So any supporting uh, graphs or charts or tables that you think helps to, to enhance your solution and your argument, please include those. I'm going to ask the members of our Autism Speaks panel if they have any other opinions on what might be helpful to include in the submission document, particular, particularly in regard to graphs and charts and tables. So anyone from the Autism Speaks team, if you want to weigh in on that? Yeah, hi, this is Dave. Um... I'd agree with you, Jody. I think um, you know whatever you feel makes your uh, proposal or your idea um, as clear and concise as possible. Um, we we you know, recommend following your gut. Uh, we don't have any kind of uh, preconceived notions of what these proposals should look like or what format. Um, you, sh you should also know that judges will not be from Autism Speaks, but from people in the field and also um, individuals with autism and family members. So some of them will be kind of experts in various fields related to housing and, and to residential supports. Some of them will not be. So I think keeping that in mind, kind of who your audience is, um, whatever you feel uh, enhances your proposal, you know, we'd recommend. Great. Thanks, Dave. And I have one more question that has come in. Sally Coletti asks, who owns the material slash submissions once submitted? Does Autism Speaks take it as their material? Excellent question. Um, this is actually meant to be open source public domain. So we are looking to benefit the entire community and the uh, winning submission will be asked, the, the, the innovator who submits the winning submission will be asked to release their intellectual property into the public domain uh, or an open source license. And that is documented in the challenge specific agreement. Oh, and Sally has a follow up question, which is what about the ones that did not win? Uh, if, if you were not selected for a prize, we, there is no uh, transfer of ownership or materials whatsoever. You own everything that is in your submission. You're welcome. Sally says thank you. You're very welcome. And those are all of the questions. Oh, one more. Janet Roche is asking, forgive me if you went over this. I had trouble signing on. No problem at all. Will this be on Hero X? Absolutely. We are recording this presentation and we will be posting it as an update to the challenge page later today. So you can go back and watch the entire thing at your convenience. And you are welcome, Janet. <laughs> All right, one more thing that I would encourage everyone to do is to go to the challenge page. We do have an FAQ there, so be sure to read through that. That's at herox.com slash house to home prize slash FAQ. We've already received a lot of great questions and we've posted them there for everyone's reference. So take a look through that page to see if maybe your question has already been answered. 
And if there are no further questions, uh, that concludes our Autism Speaks House to Home Prize webinar. We hope you found the information presented here to be helpful. And once again, we will share this presentation on the challenge page as an update, so you can go back and review it at any time. So thank you to everyone for taking part in this webinar, and best of luck to you all with your submissions. Have a great day, everybody.